Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about why you should eat more protein if your goal is fat loss. You should also just eat more protein in general, but I'm going to be highlighting why it is important for fat loss and also giving some tips on how to eat more protein and some protein ideas. So yeah, let's get into the video. So the first reason why is protein is the most satiating out of all three macros. So macros are carbs, fats, and protein. And so protein will keep you full the longest. So that helps you not to overeat. And if you're trying to cut down on your food and go in a calorie deficit, which is eating less calories than your maintenance so you're planning to lose weight that will help you with that goal because you'll just stay fuller longer with more protein versus filling up on carbs and fat after you eat a lot of carbs and fat you may still be hungry because there wasn't any protein in that meal so definitely eating more protein will help with overeating it also is the best macronutrient to help you build and retain lean muscle mass. And the more muscle that you have on your body, the more calories your body burns while at rest. So you can just be sitting doing nothing and the more muscle that you have, the more your body burns just sitting there. And so that means your metabolism is higher. Your body also burns more calories digesting protein versus carbs or fat. So that also just helps up regulate your metabolism. That is why you should eat more protein for fat loss. You want to aim to eat one gram of protein per pound of body weight. So I currently weigh in the 130s and I'm eating 140 grams of protein per day within five grams above or below that. But that is what I aim for each day and that has just really helped my body composition so what i mean by that is i may weigh the same but i have less fat on me i am a lot thinner i have more lean muscle so yeah definitely being able to balance out your macros here is just very beneficial so try to see where you're at and then try to slowly build up to one gram per pound of body weight so when it comes to eating more protein i suggest starting out small trying to add some protein in into your day uh, figure out how many grams of protein you're eating per day roughly just try to track it see where you're at and try to up it from there i would also suggest trying to get some protein in at every single meal that way you're not like trying to shove a bunch of protein in all at once you can just spread it throughout your day i also suggest starting early eating protein the more you eat during the day the less likely you'll be like binging or like having cravings when it comes to the nighttime. If you're filling up on protein earlier in the day, those late night cravings will kind of fade away to be honest. And honestly, I don't have that many cravings while focusing on my protein. And yeah, so some snacks, some food items like eggs are full of protein. Egg whites specifically have less fat. Any type of meat is good. Uh, I like chicken breasts a lot and turkey. So I would just make like sandwiches. You can make like little quesadillas. Honestly, it doesn't have to be boring. You can make a lot. Sometimes I'll add like chicken deli meat into my eggs um, or like add it onto avocado toast, add a layer of chicken on there and then eggs on top of that. Also Greek yogurt is a great snack to have and you can add so many toppings to that like tons of fruit. You can add granola or I like to add protein oats so I have extra protein. Uh, I use the Oikos triple zero yogurt and I like the vanilla, strawberry, mixed berry, there's peach, they're all really good flavors. I also can make like a smoothie bowl with that. So I'll add in like a blend up yogurt and a bunch of frozen fruit and then add a bunch of toppings to that once it is all blended and that is pretty good. Protein oatmeal is a great option. So I use the Kodiak oats, but I know Quaker also has protein oatmeal. And to make it extra protein, you add some protein powder in there as well. You can do that for the yogurt and smoothie bowls also, supplementing with some protein powder. And in general, protein powder is an easy way to up your 
protein intake, I would suggest not trying to only do like supplements like protein powders or protein bars because you want to have some real protein in there. That is the best source to get. But if you're in a crunch or you're really trying to get a lot, you can add in those supplements. So like I usually do have a supplement of protein each day, but I still try to get some real protein in throughout my day and more in the morning. I try to focus on that real protein and same for dinner. I usually have like a meat for dinner and yeah, that has really helped me hit my goals. Also cheese has protein, cottage cheese has protein in it. If you like seafood, tuna is great, salmon. Um, I'm not a big seafood person, but those are some options you can have. There's also like these protein wraps that I get. I kind of look at the nutrition labels of each thing I get to just like see how much protein there is in it. A lot of breads, there are some protein breads that you can get. I personally don't do that, but I do do the protein wraps. There's also like turkey and cheese roll-ups, salami and cheese roll-ups. Certain of those things like the salami will have more fat in it and with the cheese there will be more fat so be sure to look at your fat intake also when trying to add in more protein so you're not like overdoing it on the fat for certain things. But like chicken breast doesn't have like anything, turkey is good, like that's all very low. But yeah, just try to keep that in mind as well. Don't fill up on a bunch of pepperoni and salami and stuff like that because then that would be a lot of fat that you are consuming. Edamame is also a good just like little snack. There's a lot of meals that have like protein options like the Kodiak brand is really good for like protein pancakes and they taste just like normal pancakes. Um, also they have like these little like graham crackers that I like to eat sometimes and not all of these protein options have to be boring so like eggs you can like make little egg muffins and put like peppers or like tomato and basil in them it doesn't have to be just like straight eggs you can add tons of stuff to it same with like the yogurt like I was mentioning you can make like yogurt parfaits and same with oatmeal you can add tons of toppings you can do overnight oats it doesn't have to be boring uh just honestly go on Instagram and look through like fitness people's pages there'll be tons of ideas for you and follow me as well i post a lot of my food and i'm trying to post more of it and i try to post on my story of things i'm eating and everything like that so i hope this was helpful and it gave you some insight of why protein is so essential and yeah i will talk to you in the next video don't forget to like and subscribe bye